any free to hear decoder with the following installation parameters Intersat 20 satellite with tuning frequency 12562 MHz, cylinder rate 30 MSPS, orbital position 68.5 degree east, and horizontal polarization. You can also keep in touch with episodes of our programs via these social media platforms. For inquiries, please call 070-326-5644 or mail us via inquiries at acnntv.com. ACNN, reaching the world with the undiluted word of God. Jesus Christ, we give glory to you. You are the only God. There is none like you. You will continue to reign. You will continue to rule. You will continue to be God. You can never be dethroned. Father, we worship you. For who you are, we worship you. You are mighty. You are awesome. You are great. You are kind. You are faithful. Father, we worship you. We want to thank you. 
We want to thank you for all that you have been to us by way of support and encouragement. If not for you, we would have been consumed. These doubts would have been pulled into disarray, into confusion. But because you are there for us, because you are the one who is the pillar of these doubts, we can rejoice. We can celebrate. We can gather again. Father, we thank you for your work in the lives of our leaders in this diocese. Particularly, you anointed the one that you have planted that cannot be uprooted. Your son, the most reverend, Dr. Humphrey Bamishabi Oluma Kaye, we thank you. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for strength. Thank you for health. Granted unto him. Thank you because you will continue to defeat his foes. Father, over your son, accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to thank you for my manager. The apple of your eye. You have been a all in all. You have been a encourager. You have been the steam with which she's moving. Thank you for standing by her. Thank you for making this conference a reality for her. Father, we thank you. Accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. We want to thank you for the ministry committed to them. You have prospered it, and you are prospering it, and you will continue to prosper this ministry. Father, accept our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you for this diocese, the premier diocese in this country, diocese of Lagos. Thank you for the women. Thank you for the girls. Thank you for all parishes. Thank you for the cathedral. Because you are the one holding us together, doing your work and performing your wonders, we return thanks unto you. Lord, we cannot contain our joy. That is why we are thankful, Lord in heaven. We pray, accept our thanksgiving in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are here this morning for this official opening of the annual conference of the women of this diocese. Lord, this is your program. This is the day that you have made, and we are rejoicing in it. Lord, as we proceed in this program today, nothing we hinder our joy in the mighty name of Jesus. You will take absolute control. You will be the chairman. You will order everything to your glory. Every utterance here today, we bring glory unto your name in the mighty name of Jesus. We hand over unto you, the president of this assembly, your daughter, as she delivers our address to this august assembly. Lord, you will renew our strength. You will speak through our fresh unction to function you will pour upon her in the mighty name of Jesus. From the address today, souls shall be delivered. Souls shall be lifted up. Lord God Almighty, you will bring hope to the hopeless in the mighty name of Jesus. Through this message, you will encourage the weak in the mighty name of Jesus. Father in heaven, we also ask, because wherever you are, there is fullness of joy, there is healing. Whoever is passing through one difficulty or the other, here today, we receive solution to that problem in the mighty name of Jesus. Over this assembly, glorify your name. Glorify your name. 
glorify your name. All invited guests, those who have honored the invitation, they will remain honorable forever and ever. They will never go into disrepute. All those who are coming on their way, you will bring them down here safely in the name of Jesus. All those who will contribute meaningfully to this conference, they will never experience lack in life in the mighty name of Jesus. All of us, we will continue to serve you. And people will know that we have a mighty God who is mighty to save. Thank you, eternal Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In the name of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Shall we please sit back? We want to welcome you to year 2022 Women's Conference. The Lord makes all things beautiful in his own time. This is the best time that God has designed that this conference will hold. We thank God that it's holding at last. That the devil did not win the battle. That it did not end the way the devil planned it. That it did not leave us to the wish of our enemy. We are here gathered as women of Lagos Diocese, thanking God for the gift of life. On behalf of the diocesan who I spoke with this morning, he sent his greetings, his love, and his goodwill. For obvious reasons, he could not attend physically today. Like I told you in the morning, that tomorrow at the feet of Jesus, we are going to hold onto the cross and do exactly what Jacob did when he said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And that is what we're going to do tomorrow so that the Lord will perfect that. And that which we have waited for will come to pass. And I stand in the name of Christ, God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to declare this conference open in Jesus' name. you are here today, because you have come to honor God today, your life is preserved in the name of Jesus. Your life is preserved in the name of Jesus. Our Lord, our Lord Bishop, Archbishop, Bishop Missioner, the Most Reverend Uncle Balushebi Olumakaye, I will continue to call him because I know he's here with us in spirit. And I know the good work our priest is um, delivered on. Uh, uh, Zachariah 4 9. The good work the river bell started. He will finish it in the name of Jesus. It will not be an abandoned project in the name of Jesus. I want to, on our mama, I greet you, ma. Thank you for the leadership. That you are, thank you for the exemplary life you have given us. God will bless you. 
God will bless you in the name of Jesus. I want to thank God for our, our fathers in the Lord, greatly led by our daddy, the provost, and our mama provost. You are welcome, sir. You will continue to be relevant in the things of God in Jesus' name. I want to call our mama bishops that are here to grace this occasion. I thank you, Lord. I, I thank God for your life. I thank you, Lord, for your life. You will continue to be to know the goodness of God in your life in Jesus' name. And for the arch, for the archdeacon of the Ekpe Archdeaconry, we are really very grateful for making this happen. Your ministry will never know a better yesterday in the name of Jesus. On behalf of the president, Professor Moses Moturayo Olumakaye. I bid you all welcome to this year's conference of our great diocese with the team stand out. Matthew 5 15, 1 Peter 2 9. The Bible says, I wish above all things that thou prosper even as thou, thou so prosper. I am not here to take the lecture. I know that this is a call for us to stand out, to show forth the glory of God at, the command, at his command, and that is the desire of God, that we should stand out. So as you are here for this conference today, know that because you have encountered God, your life will not be the same. Not only will your life be preserved, you have been called to save the dying generation and to cause the saved elect to continue to give glory unto your, to God. So shall be your portion in Jesus' name. As you go from here, your life will continue to shine. Your life will continue to shine. And everything about you will be outstanding in the name of Jesus Christ. You are called to stand out and shine among a dying generation. As you go back, you will experience God. As you walk here, you will experience God. We thank God for your life. Go, you are welcome in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Ekabo. Ekabo. Isoko wado. Isoko wado. Dede bo. My evil people, no. No. And our Uta, Sonny Lezua. You are welcome. to welcome you all once again to the 21st B Women's Conference. It is my pleasure and my privilege to introduce to you one of the representatives from Ekpe Archdeaconry, one of the guests. We are still expecting the chairman. And if you know our axis, you would know that the traffic there is terrible. I want to believe that Mr. Honorable Adedun Adesoya came through Ikorodu to get here this early. Thank you, sir. We appreciate you, sir. At times, it takes about four or five hours before you get to Aja from Ekpe. But we know that they are coming. So we're not losing hope. They are coming. You have invited them. They have honored an invitation, and they will come in the name of Jesus. So we must give honor to whom honor is due. We want to especially welcome Honorable Adedun Adesoya, the former local government chairman of Ekpe Local Government Area, a former people's warden of St. Michael's Church, 
Efe, we welcome you once again, sir. We call and we thank you. May the Lord answer you when you are distressed. May the name of the God of Jacob protect you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and grant you support from Zion. May he remember all your sacrifices, particularly the St. Michael's Church request. And may he accept your burnt offering in the name of Jesus. You're welcome, sir. We would recognize the others as they come. Thank you very much. Standing on existing protocol, we would like to welcome the special guests on the Ark Victory Road um, and Cathedral. But we don't know, they're not sitting here right now. So once they come, they'll be identified as they, are, as they come. Thank you very much. So sorry, so sorry. We have Miss Oluwarotimi Mary Odusanyo from Ifesowako Agdikinri. A round of applause, please. From all the Agdikinri, she's the only one present. So we have the Olori here, the wife of His Royal Majesty, of M.G. Onakoya, the Origeru of Igboye land, from St. Paul's Church, Igboye. <laughs> A round of applause for mommy. Thank you very much. So please um, identify others as they arrive. Thank you very much. Before we recognize the Dalsisan, I want to appreciate the assistant president of Sister Dalsisis that are here, Barrister Mrs. Harriet Ashaju, Mama Elisha. Thank you very much for coming. And uh, Sister Mrs. Shino Kurishola, Mama on the Coast. Thank you for coming. God bless you in Jesus' name. Mrs. Rita Olariwaju. Take care. Mrs. Sequency should please move forward. Praise the Lord. We want to specially honor and thank God for the life of our Baba, Bishop, Missionary, Archbishop, Right Reverend Dr. Humphrey, Most Reverend, I beg your pardon, Most Reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Olumakaye. We want to thank God because he is here. He has been praying for us. He has sent goodwill messages to us. He has blessed us. And we know that he has the utmost um, best wishes for us in this conference today. And, you know, through Mama, who is here today, you know, his office is here. We would like to bless God for him. We would like to bless God for the work which he continues to do. We would like to bless God for the work which the Lord is yet to do. We thank you all and we welcome Baba, you know, in spirit. And we know that he's also here, ably, ably represented by the provost of the cathedral. We thank you, sir. We thank God for the presence um, of the office of the bishop, the archbishop, the missioner, and, you know, uh, Baba, Baba Lagos. Glory, glory, glory be to God. His reign will continue to be, give glory to God. 
the Lord will continue to show forth, you know, his mighty presence. The Lord will continue to show forth his grace in all that concerns him and concerns the diocese of Lagos that will continue to grow from strength to strength in the name of Jesus Almighty. Amen. Jesus, I stand on all the other established protocols, and I want to read out some of the goodwill messages we have received by phone calls, text messages, emails, and letters. The President of Congress, we have received several messages from our loved ones to the Diocese of Lagos Women especially at this special conference, with the theme stand out. Top of the list, we've received a message from Barrister Mrs. Harriet Cheu Dafo Ashaju and the women of Elisha Diocese. Mama Ashaju is present. She has sent us a beautiful message encouraging us to stand out even in these perilous times. We've received a message from the Right Reverend Olusheyi and Mrs. Olushino Kureshola and the entire women on the diocese of coast, on the coast. Mama Kurishola is here, and we thank you so much for your encouraging messages. We have received a message from Ijesha North women. We have received a message from Venerable Lawrence and Mrs. Victoria Ajayi, and the entire people of Eke Archdeacon Road, the conference hosts. Messages have come in from Venerable Ife Dollar and Mrs. Modupe from women and the entire people of our Savior's Church, Ikoyi. Messages have come in from Venerable Joseph and Mrs. Ikechi Ezenwa and the Anglican Church on the beautiful gate, VGC. A message has come in from Reverend Canon Samuel Okilolo and family, Reverend Canon Raphael and Mrs. Fumilayo Bene, our conference chaplain, we have received a message from Venerable Samson and Mrs. Yenisi Olali Ito. Venerable Williams and Mrs. Okuchime Iso sent a message. And we have received messages from a host of retired clergy wives led by Mrs. Oluatoni of Selebe, Mrs. Oluyemi of Befagemi, Mrs. Patience Ike, Mrs. Toke Babalolai, Mrs. Peach, Peace Ibauchi. Mrs. Eunice Fawowo. We have also received a message from Mrs. Blessing Mwenze, Emmanuel Church, Mobi Road. We have received a message from my own darling husband, the Venerable Uche Ekwensi, and family. We have also received a message from Venerable John and Mrs. Grace Aguru. Messages are still coming in, but all of them in one accord and wishing us well. And they enjoying the women of the diocese to stand out, especially at these trying times that the nation, the world at large is going through. We as Christians should always stand out because of our faith in God. And they are with us in prayers that by the grace of God, wherever we find ourselves, we'll be able to stand out in Jesus' name. Thank you very much, our secretary. I want to let this house know that we did not invite sister dioceses at all. We wanted it to be a very solemn conference and an in-house meeting. That's why you didn't see them around. We did not invite any sister dioceses. 
But we thank God for our sisters because they are part of this diocese. That is where they are here on personal recognition. Thank you. It's a Saiburu. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to thank God again. We can't thank God enough for all he has done for us. And we are gathered here today again to celebrate the goodness of God upon the life of our Dalsisan, our mama, and the entire members of Diocese of Lagos. And for all our guests, we want to say thank God for their life. We called on them. They accepted the invitation to honor God with their time, their talent, and their resources. And we pray for them that God will continue to enlighten their coast in the name of Jesus. From the Ashtikiri, Efe Ashtikiri, and the other Ashtikiris in the diocese. We have 35 guests in all, and to the glory of God, they have done wonderfully well. They have seen us, and we thank God for their life. With an appreciative heart and privilege on this, occasion, on this auspicious occasion, under the able leadership of our Mama Lagos, Professor Mo Mrs. Moturayo Oluma Kaye, the President of Women and Girls Organization of this great diocese, to specially thank you all, our conference guests, and the women in general for your unrelenting and unquantifiable support financially, morally, materially, and spiritually to the work of the women in the diocese of Lagos. The women is highly thankful and hereby assures you that your sacrifice in this respect is recognized. Please be reminded that we shall keep remembering you in our prayers and in our further correspondence. To us, you have done well, but we pray for you according to 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast, immovable, always abandoned in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Okay, okay, lo wa fun ni ngbe, okay, lo wa yin yo ma gbe lo ruko jesu. O wa yin o ni konsale ako lo ruko jesu. And for everyone that is here today, I want to call on the the ushers to go round. Please, the ushers, Quickly, because we don't have time. Please go run for all our clergy to support us for this year's conference. Because most of our girls, they've seen us and we are appreciating them. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Asheisha Mojun, Ni Oruko Jesu.
praise the Lord. Didn't I assure you that he will come? I assured you that he will come and he is here. We want to welcome our chairperson for the day, Engineer Muiwa Olulaja. You're welcome, sir. We understand that it's the traffic that held you. And we believe that you came through Ikorudu. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you very much for honoring our invitation. Engineer Muiwa Olulaja is a HR professional and administrator with extensive work experience spanning over two decades across key industries. Prior to now, Engineer Olulaja worked in the advisory practice of KPMG Professional Services, where he garnered practical hands-on hands -on experience and knowledge in people management and led various high-profile consulting engagements for both private and public sector institutions at various times. Engineer Olulaja is a sought-out speaker on talent management and career development. He holds a bachelor's degree in engineering and an MBA in business management. He's an associate member of different professional bodies, including the Chartered Institute of Personnel Management, Nigeria, Nigerian Institute of Management, and Nigerian Institute for Training and Development. Engineer Olulaja is also a trained KPMG assessor, a certified job evaluator and DDI certified trainer. He's happily married with children. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Engineer Muiwa Olulaja. You're welcome, sir. Thank you for honoring our invitation, sir. Um, we would also like to welcome Asiwaju Dr. Michael and Mrs. Bola Olawale Koo, Leki Adikinri. Also, we would like to welcome Mrs. Anu Oluwako Kosoko Ogaga, New Era Adikinri. Please, the ushers, please um, walk her forward. Thank you very much. I want to listen to the chairman's speech, Engineer Muiwa Olulaja. He wants to say hi to the house. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Um, before I give my opening remark, I just want to claim your indulgence to join me in singing this small, very short hallelujah chorus. It's in Yoruba. Will you join me? Thank you very much. so so excited to be here and um, I want to stand on the existing protocol and I really must apologize to our mommy and to all the guests for coming a bit late I wasn't coming from Ikurudu but I <laughs> I got the wrong description so I went through the Mariga at CMS Grammar School the road is under construction if you are familiar with that road and so trying to maneuver back again was a bit difficult, so I had to leave my car somewhere there. 
So it's fine. But I'm very excited that I'm here. Let me appreciate uh, our mommy, Prof, for the honor. Because if you didn't grant um, our daddy's request, I wouldn't be here. So I'm indeed very grateful. I'm excited seeing you face to face. I only see you on TV. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, it's, so it's, it's a source of excitement for me. And again, you didn't consider that the crash clean ring is small. And you consider, you know, to zone this, you know, opportunity and leave it to our actual clean ring. So I'm so excited. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you. Thank you so much. And to our daddy, venerable. I think this is quite uh, beyond imagination. Um, he reached out to me earlier in the year. Again, I am not the most qualified. But again, God qualifies his choosing. That's your next truth. I have seniors. I have daddies. You know, I have very big seniors. Some of them are here. But if it pleases God, you know, to use Venerable Ajayi to reach out to me. So when he reached out earlier in the year, it was with mixed feelings. I was wondering, but why? And all. You know, but I gladly accepted it. And thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. I, I'm so excited about it. And God will continue to bless your ministry. I'm so excited. I, I, I just want to leave you with two stories, just so that you know a bit about me. And I'm sure I have some of my mommies that live in the house. Um, for our mommies that live from Ekpe particularly, can I see your hands up? Uh, thank you very much. Those are my mothers. Those are my mothers. Thank you so, so much. I'm so excited. They know my story. And I'm never ashamed that it's of sharing this story anywhere I go. Because I grew up in Anglican. As a young boy, I grew up in Anglican, St. Michael Anglican Church, Ekpe. Book War by Ekpe. I was in the choir. I play organ. I learned, you know, I was a cross bearer. I, I performed drama during the, you know, Christmas carol. So I, I grew up in, in that environment. And unfortunately, I lost my dad at some point when I needed him the most. And it was difficult for me to graduate from university because I needed 5,000 naira to complete my project work. There was no one to turn to. And so I remember church. That I grew up in this church. And so that particular night, the wash night service, maybe about 25 years ago now, the church had to raise donation for me. I was looking for 5,000 naira. But the night, that particular night, 10,000 naira was raised. You can clap for, you can, you can just... Praise the Lord. So, today, years and years after, Venerable Ajayi wasn't in the place, so he didn't know my story. So I'm not sure he knew, even, even though I've told this story over and over. And again, it's just to show appreciation and to encourage some other people. Because we are doing the right thing in Anglican. That's the honest truth. When I needed 5,000, 10,000 I showed up. The 5,000 at that time, whatever it is, the value that you want to place on it is like 10 million. Because that was all I needed. But I didn't have it. So I reached out and leave it to Mr. Chegun Benson, I leave the, the badger at the time. I just said, oh, let's have to, you know, he presented it at least in the council. So there was both no money, but they can, they can do a donation. But you know, as a young boy in the university, and they are going to call your name out and say they are donating for that person. I didn't come to church that night. And he comes to church that night, so I had to run. That how does he feel? That you then say, okay, yes, you have been, you know, you have been contributed for at least to graduate from the university. But lo and behold, at least my friends, they are doing well today. You know, they reached out. And said, oh, they made donations, but you know, nobody would have known that much was donated. But the first January. 10,000 naira cash was handed over to me. So I was able to complete my project work. I could buy my project, could defend my project, and I could conclude everything. And the rest is history today. So that's the one story. So I thank God 
you know, for God that he be planting me and he be growing up at least in that kind of environment. Because otherwise, it could have been difficult. And probably I wouldn't have been found that he be what suitable at least standing here making his address today. And this is a story at least of years and years back. So I'm excited about it. The second story, if the young boy hasn't left the country, we probably have come together. It's the last boy in our home. He trained as a medical doctor. And your association supported him a little bit through university as well. I didn't know how that happened, to be honest with you. His name was nominated from the same aquarium as Dikiri, and he graduated as a medical doctor today. So today I sit in the US. So you can then imagine how excited I am. So even if, I, if that will take me a little bit to trek from um, wherever, it's an, exciting, it's an exciting moment for me that I have the opportunity, the platform, a little bit to share this experience and this with the body of Christ. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. You know, when we are growing up, we hear a bishop, and I'm sure that is what we call the you know, Women's and Girls Association today, isn't it? Yes. yes, but at that time, that was what it was called. So, and I'm so excited about it that without having anything to do with mommy or uh, uh, Venerable Ajayi, he just reached out. So when he told me that, okay, the session was initially scheduled a little bit for July, I... I, I was happy a little bit to do it. So he came back again and said, oh, it's moved a little bit to October. And it was funny enough with me. It's on my mind at least as I, I, I missed it today. And I, I'm ready a little bit to cancel all, all appointments a little for this reason. And I did cancel all, all my appointments. So I'm excited. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy a little bit to identify a little bit with your association. We benefited a little bit from Anglican, from the body of Christ. My family has benefited. And I will forever be grateful. I will forever be grateful to Anglican because when I remember, at least at, the, at my lowest step, the church came to my head. And it's something of excitement to me today. So thank you so, so much. And I, I, I wish you, you know, you, know, you know, faithful, you know, peaceful, successful celebration at least in your session. I, I have a token which I didn't want to disclose, but it's my widow's mind. Again, as a show, as a show of my appreciation and me to, to, to this association. And I, and, and, and I say, God, we accept it, no matter how small it is. And I also do know that at any point in time in the future, this will double by the grace of God. And it's what I'm calling that to support you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thank you. We can do better, please. The Bible says, cast your bread upon the waters, and after many days, you will find it. It's good to do good. What goes around comes around. This is a great lesson to us as clergy, as women, in the diocese of Lagos. There is nothing you do that will not go back to you. It's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. We thank God for this testimony. Thank you very much, sir. We are grateful. The Lord will continue to bless you the more. I will say the same more during my own presentation. Thank you. Now, we have some awards that we normally give during this conference. The gifts are displayed there, but we're not going to call you out to receive them. But after the program, the gifts will be handed over to you. I think we discussed this extensively yesterday during the financial report presentation. We normally give awards to the best performing churches and individuals in the course of the year. The highest church in sacrifice subscription returns, we have also church Lekki, they came first, our Soviet TBS, Second, Anglican Church of the Peninsula came third. For the highest individual women subscriber, that is those who subscribe into our sacrifice um, returns, we have engineer Mrs. Hebo Herienta K. 
came forth from All Souls Church. Lekki. We have Mrs. Kate Issa from Church of the Nativity, Parkview, second. Mrs. Salina Akinyoju, Cathedral Church of Christ Marina. Then Mrs. Okeo Wade Joke came forth at Saviors Church, TBS. We have the best Barak Mission partners. These are men subscribers to our sacrifice returns. We have the most Reverend Dr. H.B. Ulumakaye in the first position. We have the most Reverend Dr. E.A. Ademowa, second position. Venerable Lucia Gulade in the third position. Venerable Ezewa Ifei, fourth position. And Mr. Olumofi Mujiwa from St. John's Church, our lawyer, in the fifth position. We have the best Rising Stars mission partners. These are children subscribers. Miss Mercy Adego from St. Peter's Church, Magbo Alade came first. Master Owo Oluwa Ogumba Muwo, St. Peter's Church, Magbo Alade came second. Miss Blessing Ogumba Jo, St. Peter's Church, Magbo Alade came third. And Miss Barak Wakama, Church of Transformation, Abijo came third. Then we have every couple count. This is the cumulative of all returns from the various parishes, excluding the sacrifice according to the various categories. I won't bore us by reading out the categories. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight categories of um, um, churches, and the list is here. After now, you will collect your gifts. God bless you all in the name of Jesus. But there is an award I would want to present now. That's the only one we will present openly now. And that is the award for the clergy wife of the year. I think you're going to come better than that. Are you not excited? By the virtue of the position she occupies among the women and girls in this diocese, to the best of my knowledge, she is committed. She demonstrates resilience in coping with stress, change, and overcoming barriers to success. She is consistent, persistent, and visionary. She is reliable, dependable, and very resourceful. Give her any assignment and you can go to sleep because she will deliver without stress. She is innovative. She is passionate about improving the life of individuals. She is an outstanding leader in her own right. She is courageous in moving everyone she leads towards inclusiveness, fairness, and justice, and being a role model for other women in her small group. She is good at implementing creative programs. She has demonstrated ability to draw others into participatory roles in the women's and girls' organizations to the best of my knowledge. I have never discussed her with anybody. This is absolutely my personal observation about her in the last four years. She is a silent and quiet worker. She is not a perfect person. She is not a perfect person. But her pros outweigh her cons which I have considered carefully so I can make a sensible decision. I have been circumspect in my close and distant observation for the past four years. In my opinion, she deserves a recognition. <laughs> On that note, the award of the clergy wife for the year 2022 
goes to if it is you come forward <laughs> Mrs. Futsinimore Ajayi Representative of Mama Modupe Oluwole, in whose name this award was floated, to make the presentation on behalf of the family. Congratulations, Ma. Our mother, Mrs. Mudukwela Uluwale, had a passion for clergy wives and a passion for excellence. And I congratulate you for exceeding that level of excellence. Congratulations to you. God bless you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. God bless you. We want to recognize some of our guests who are already here. We're recognizing the presence of Mrs. Ario, representing Ch her husband, Chief Christopher O. Ario of St. Paul's Church, Iboye. A round of applause, please. <laughs> Women of Faith Voices, please.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We, the women of faith voices, are here to present a song as a listen, remain blessed, as you stand out in everything you do for the Lord. The song is titled Stand Out. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. Today, the Lord is ready to bless us even as we declare that we are standing out for him. And it is my prayer that we we'll continue to shine forth and show forth the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen. I shine the light so bright And I am standing now The glory of the Lord is seen through me Set on the hill cannot be hidden Stand out, stand out Oh, stand, stand out, out so bright I will stand out I call the light to stand out. Can we put our hands together? I shine the light so bright and I am standing out. The glory of the Lord is seen through me. Set on the hill I cannot be in. Stand out, stand out. Oh, stand out so bright. I will stand out. I shine. 
Dalsison and our patron, the most reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Igitolorungbi Olumakaye. When he comes back, we are going to do Christ's name. <laughs> and you know the name I've given him? Oluwanimi Lo. to compile the names that we're going to give him when he comes back. So if you want your name to be included, see me. At a cost. Dalsison President of Sister Dalsison's Hair Present, Co-Chairperson, Engineer Muiwa Olulaja, Special Guest of Honor, All Invited Guests, our host and hostess, Venerable Lawrence and Mrs. Victoria Ajayi, distinguished archdeacons, women's chaplain, conference chaplain, Reverend Canon Raphael Olada Pomoye Binle, eminent clergy and the fantastic wives, conference planning committee chairperson, Mrs. Inkechi Ezenwa, who turns 50 today. Wonderful women of Lagos Dowsers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen of the press, join me to sing this song again. I never knew you will honor me this way. I never knew you will honor me this way. I never knew.
is addressed in 20 minutes, so I need a timekeeper. With a heart full of gratitude to the Almighty God for his unfailing mercy, steadfast love, and his eternal faithfulness, we gladly welcome you to this year's Women's Conference. We are extremely grateful to God for his daily mercies lavished upon us and for the privilege to be co-workers with Christ in the ministry of reconciling men to God. He has been a strong pillar of support and an inseparable companion. Our hearts are full of praises to God for daily mercies, unquantifiable love, and astonishing benefits and kindness in all facets of our lives. Great is your faithfulness, O Most High. It is very pertinent, and we are deeply thankful to our dear daddy and patron and father in God, the diocesan and missioner, the most reverend Dr. Humphrey Bamishebi Igitolo Rungbi Oluwani Milo Olumakaye, my own God saint, a gift of inestimable value and a priceless worth. He is my apostle, my booster, my bosom friend and admirer. My enthusiast, my catalyst, my cheerleader, consultant, confidant, and teacher. He is my role model, and I am indebted to him for his untiring mentorship and relentless guidance. I indeed owe my success to his unwavering support lavishly given to me. May your episcopacy record greater exploits and God's anointing upon you know no dryness in Jesus' mighty name. We are eternally grateful to God for our father and mother and mentor and role model, the most reverend Dr. Ephraim and Mrs. Oluran Siademowo. Words fail us to thank you sufficiently for your love, prayer, your unflinching support and encouragement. We warmly and heartily welcome the clergy of this foremost diocese. Where are they? You are not here. Is it because the diocesan was not here? Remember Ephesians 6 says, Not with men eye service, as I, uh, not with eye service nor men pleaser, but serving the Lord Christ from your heart, doing the will of God. It's not only when the diocesan is in a program that you attend. We are serving the Lord. The Lord will reward you in Jesus' name. Those of you who are here, thank you so very much. The graduates of the diocese of Lagos, I say you are simply the best. I pray that he that sees your work done in the secret shall reward you openly in Jesus' mighty name. The great women of our prime diocese, I salute you. The Lord God shall forever be a strong pillar of support unto you. Together, we shall sing songs of victory in Jesus' mighty name. I love you all. Thank you all for your prayers while we were away. Do not relent in praying for us, especially our patron. We shall sing songs of praise and laugh last. Yeah. Our guest, the culture person of today's event. Event is Ellen Sadebayo and Mrs. Victoria Ajay. You are blessed forever. The Lord will reward your labor of love, love in Jesus' name. The conference planning committee, we cannot thank you enough. In spite of the challenges that characterize this year, you remained undaunted and you kept planning and preparing for the conference resolutely. We do appreciate your doggedness, commitment, and dedication to the things of God. 
These great women prayerfully decided to convert the old library to a 10-bed hostel as their project to mark this year's conference, and it will be commissioned at the end of this program. We especially thank the chairperson of the Amiable Committee, Mrs. Ikechi Ezenwa. She is a privileged child of grace who is passionate about excellence in all things. The Lord will bless you, bless your home, bless your husband, and your ministry in Jesus' name. Inkechi contributes to various humanitarian programs and is a visioner of Care Drops, a shared value program of the Women's Fellowship of Anglican Church of the Beautiful Gates. Other members of the committee are Mrs. Mayo Kukoka, Mrs. On Onome Otuoniyo, Mrs. Rita Olarewaju, Mrs. Eunice Ebi Oko, Chief Mrs. Oluato Imbadejo, and Mrs. Madeline Efemeko. God bless your service of love. <laughs> the conference chaplain, Reverend Canon Raphael Olada Pomoye Benle, we really appreciate you. We've started enjoying Christ through you. You will continue to be relevant. Our resource persons, we have um, Dr. Kofo Ogunyoki. He will be talking to us on sleep apnea, all I need to know, later today. And later today also, we have Mrs. Frances Omoraye. She'll be talking to us on the societal moral decadence and I. The Lord bless them all in Jesus' name. We thank God for our Bible study leaders, Mrs. Tayo Taiwo, Mrs. Happiness Okere, and Mrs. Eunice Oko. The Lord will continually perfect all that concerns you in the name of Jesus. Our women's program in the year 2022-21, the year under review, we thank God we were able to hold all our programs. 2021 Women's Conference was held. The new clergy wives training was held. The facilitators workshop was done. Guest Ladies and Virtues Day was done. 2021 prestigious ladies summit was held festival of faith was done women executive and departmental retreats valentine visit to church to schools then 2022 women's world day of prayer the business and professional women's fellowship all these programs were held one of the utmost desires of our bishop at this critical time is that all programs must go on that we must not cancel any program. The reason why he gave this date for us to hold this conference, and we have to honor his wish. Women's projects. Our baby project is at Bishop Abiodo Adetiloye Comprehensive College, Igbo Yepe. We celebrated the first ever valedictory service and graduation ceremony on Thursday, 11th November 2021 with 10 students that started the school. They all did very well, and some of them have already gained admission into the higher institution. We saw a need to get an official vehicle for the use of the principal, Mr. Vitor Shueton, who has done so well. A Toyota Sienna was purchased, which will be presented at this conference. Wow, I, I didn't know that they are here. ACC students, shout hallelujah. We will remain ever grateful for this great feat and pray for God's abundant blessing on the school in Jesus' name. The second project, our baby project, is at Bishop Adebola and Lurante Ademawa Christian Resource Center, Faith Plaza. We thank God for what God is doing here. This is our own, is our facility. I pray that the presence of the Lord will continue to abide here in Jesus' name. I want to appreciate the warden, Mrs. Moradeo Adekola, for a job well done, and the chaplain in, char in charge of this compound, Reverend Adedui. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Abigail Oluwale Vocational Center. A new set of about 79 students are currently undergoing different levels of training in the three departments, and some are awaiting commissioning. Having graduated 658 people, students, from that school or vocational center. 
The center is managed by a board headed by Mrs. Solushego Kusami. We commiserate with the family because she lost her husband, Dr. Kende Okusame, recently. May the Lord give the soul of the departed rest. We also commiserate with the family of one of our retired board members, Mama Abisoye Kuju, who went to be with the Lord at ripe old age of over 80 years. We thank God for his grace and provisions which has enabled us to continue to train indigent people irrespective of their religion, tribe, or race free so as to enable them to be self-employed. Our outreaches, we visit homes. Quarterly, we visit the Female Correctional and Custodian Center in Kirikiri, we visit Hearts of God Children Hospice in Surulere. We visit the Ile Anu Preschool for the Challenged Children, Destitute Home in Ebutemeta, and all others as led by the Spirit. We had the free ice cream in as a fallout from the 2021 Women's Conference and free glasses and medications were given out to those patients who needed them. A total of about 355 people were screened and attended to. The women's and girls' organizations have continued to sponsor students in our different schools within the diocese. This has been made possible through the partnership of parishes and individuals who have keyed into our vision. Presently, we have a total of 14 scholars in primary, secondary, and tertiary institutions of learning within the diocese that the women's and girls' organizations are sponsoring. These are also a number, there are also a number of students being sponsored by the organization and churches and individuals. We appreciate all the parishes that have scholars in our schools and pray that God will prosper his church. We also specially appreciate Dr. Benjamin Wilkos for his sponsorship of scholars. God will, on our behalf, reward Barista Shegu Ajayi, who awards a scholarship for one year to the best student in the entrance examination and also sponsors an indigent student throughout her six years at AAACC. Departments, committees, and units. We appreciate all the heads of departments and units coordinators for the great work done in the year under review. The Lord will reward you abundantly. All the programs later for the year were implemented. We encourage us all not to relent in good doing, as in due course we shall be greatly rewarded. The heads of departments are Women's Department, Mrs. Yemisi Olali, God bless you. Mobilization Department, Mrs. Favor Bola Odubeno, God bless you. Outreach Department, Mrs. Tomi Aladejo, God bless you. Girls and Ladies Department, Mrs. Modukwe Okupevi, God bless you. Publication Media Unit, Mrs. Sequency Informa, God bless you. Spirituality Department, Mrs. Roda Ekeke, God bless you. Thousands of Lagos News. In the year on the review, we held or hosted the Church of Nigerian Standing Committee meeting. We thank God for the election of our Papa as the Archbishop of the Ecclesiastical Province of Lagos. We bless God for the three-in-one celebration of our Papa and Mama Lagos. The inaugural lecture of Mama Lagos in OAU, we thank God for the success of all these programs. Our joys. We rejoice with those who had their landmark birthdays during the period under review. We also rejoice with so many of our women and members who the Lord blessed in various ways. May occasions of joy never cease in our midst in the name of Jesus. Some celebrated their landmark birthdays. Some were blessed with new babies. Some got married. Some people, their children got married. Some were ordained. Some were preferred. The Lord God bless you all in Jesus. In the same vein, we commiserate with the families of our members who lost their loved ones. Some of them who went to be with the Lord. I've mentioned Mama Abisoye Kuju. I've mentioned 
the husband of one of our mamas, Dr. Kendi Okusame, the chairperson of our board of um, uh, vocational center. And uh, we want to commiserate with our able secretary of the Women Executive Committee, Mrs. Sequency, she lost her father, Engineer Godwin Okoli, at the age of 84 years. Church of Nigeria News, all the programs in Church of Nigeria, you can read through them, elections of bishops, enthronements, translation, new archbishops, selection, and all of that, and those who retired. The state of the nation, when you have the booklet, you can read through them. We want to thank God for the ASU strike that has been finally called off. So I can go back to work. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The conference theme. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. It's me the light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. This little light of mine. theme for this year is stand out. Matthew chapter 5 verse 16. In the same way, let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your father in heaven. NIV. There is a popular saying, if you want to be outstanding, you have to get away from the crowd. Our purpose for being here as Christians and God's special possessions is that we may proclaim the excellencies of him who called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Peter 2.9 We cannot exhibit the glory of God if we blend in and look like the world around us. We must stand out. The theme of this year's conference is a clarion call, a call to action, a warning to rid ourselves from all distractions and take a firm stand for our Lord Jesus Christ in every sphere of our lives. To be diligent and faithful the oldest tricks of Satan is to make us feel that we urgently need to fit in with the crowd. To stand out, according to the Oxford Dictionary, means to be easily noticeable and to be clearly better or more significant than someone or something. Stand out as a noun means a person or thing of exceptional quality or ability. The word light connotes spiritual illumination, inner light, enlightenment, and truth. Our Lord Jesus Christ is an embodiment of all these attributes. Why stand out? If you look closely, one can infer that the light in you should not be hidden or concealed. This light is meant to be showcased so much that men will not be able to ignore or gainsay. Reasons to stand out or to shine your light is to bring glory to God through the following ways. Number one, light career. Number two, light revealer. Number three, light teacher or discipler. Number four, light diffuser. Number five, light harbinger. Number six, light unifier. Number seven, light ambassador. We are to let our light shine. There is no reason that anyone should not be able to tell that you are a Christian. 
God intends for the world to be able to see him by his reflection in his people. Live righteously for God's sake. Do nothing out of selfish ambition. Philippians 2, 3. Surely, not everyone will want to see the light of God. It is too bright for those who hate and deny him. Jesus knows that some people will hate you for the same things you wish others commend you. How exactly should you shine your light in the world today? The darkness of our world has been incredibly apparent in recent years. If the world ever needed light, it is now. But how? Romans 12, 2 says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Number one, share your faith with others. Tell the person beside you that share your faith with others. We are talking about how to shine the light. Number one, share your faith with others. Tell the person. Number two, through acts of love. Number three, be careful what you say. Number four, use social media wisely. Number five, Use your talents to bless others. Number six, be diligent. Number seven, submit to God's will. And number eight, rid yourself of negativity and distractions. Negativity and distractions. What stops you from shining your light? In a world darkened by the corruption of sin, we have to be very careful. So what are some of those things that cover a believer's light and stop your light from shining? Number one, sin. Tell the person, number one is sin. It is defined as false evidence appearing real. Why sin is self-inflicted nuisance. Somebody is laughing there. Number one, sin. Self-inflicted nuisance. Number two, fear. False evidence appearing real. Number three, seeking worldly approval. You know, we are talking about things that can cover your lights from shining. Worldly approval. If you want to belong, you want to do things the way others do it, you can stand out. Number four, neglect of God's word. Are we tired? Number five, listening to naysayers. Those that carry negativity. So you don't surround yourself with negative people. Surround yourself with people that can add value to your life. Not the people that will draw value out of you. If you can't add to me, don't take away what I already have. That is how to stand out. Number six, holding on to the past. If you keep holding on to your past, you won't shine your light. He that the son sets free is free indeed. Number seven, constantly worrying. If you keep worrying and worrying and worrying, that does not stop today's trouble. You are only adding more trouble to your troubled life. <laughs> to your already troubled life. So when we constantly allow our circumstances to overwhelm us, our lights begin to dim and, ev and eventually stops shining. Our Lord Jesus Christ talked about worry and anxiety more than a few times in the Bible. And he reminds us about the futility of worry, how much God loves us and how he can give us rest in Matthew 6, 25 to 27. Worry doesn't have to be a struggle if we allow the peace of God to rule over our hearts. Number eight, and the last one is complacency. Tell the person beside you, complacency. complacency. 
Have you become self-satisfied about your accomplishment or at ease like daughters of Zion in Isaiah 32 verses 9 to 20? To become complacent is to have a feeling of quiet pleasure, contentment, or satisfaction with one because of some level of achievement that has been made. Your zeal and dedication towards God has waned and you lack motivation and have become indifferent towards the work of God. Let us not be too comfortable with our attainment or discouraged. Rather, walk with God with all humility and ask him for grace to continue to find into flames the gift of God in us. Regardless of the situation, we must move forward. You must not be too complacent. What are the dangers of blending in? When you want to behave the way people of the world behave, number one, you bring dishonor to God. When you blend, you call yourself Christian, and you blend, you do things the way of the world do it. The Bible says we are, but we are not people of the world behave. If you do that, you bring dishonor to God. Number two, a life without purpose. Your life will be without purpose. Number three, enslaved by the evil one. Number four, in danger of eternal damnation. What are the benefits of standing out? We become a display of God's glory. God will showcase his glory through your life when you stand out. Number two, our inner beauty will shine brightly. Number three, God brings good out of all bad situations. They meant it for you. They may mean it for evil, but the Lord will turn it around for your good because you are standing out. Number four, God rewards faithfulness. It's a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Number five, God answers your prayer. And that is everybody's wish. When you pray, you want God to answer your prayer. How can God answer your prayer? It's only when you stand out. God has so many children. But when you stand out, he gives your case an attention. He brings your case to the front burner. He gives it a priority. In conclusion, our conference theme this year makes it clear that we are called to be different, to stand out and not to fit in or blend in. Let us truly live up to our names according to 1 Peter 2, 9 and shine your light everywhere, not only in the church, but in our neighborhoods, communities, and workplaces inclusive. We must also understand that the light we reflect in God not our, is God's, not ours, and we are being renewed in his image from a spiritual and mental standpoint. Don't shine so others can see you. Shine so that through you, others can see him. All lights need a constant power source to keep working. No light in our physical world is self-sustaining, and neither is ours. If lights get disconnected from their power source, they eventually lose charge, weakened, fade, and die or burn out. Likewise, we have to continuously recharge our connection by replenishing the oil in our lamps, that is the Holy Spirit. Without light, nothing can survive. Just as without abiding in Christ, we can do nothing. John 15, 5. Standing out is your brand, your pin code and password. You can't afford not to stand out because the price you pay for doing otherwise may cost you your eternity with Christ. A church, I charge you also to desire God's word and his righteousness. Beware of shining your light on your own terms. Let the Holy Spirit teach lead and guide you. Christ should be at the center of it all. As we make a choice to stand out, let us ask God to continually show us how best to shine so we can be beacons of his life-changing hope. God bless you, your sister and friend and co-laborer, Moturai.
begin to wave our hands to God Almighty as we pray. Thank Him for the opportunity to stand out. It's because you're standing now, that is why you were selected as a delegate to this conference. I want us to sing this song. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. Lord, I want to be like Jesus in my heart. very loud amen to these prophetic declarations your glory will not be concealed in obscurity in the name of Jesus the power covering your glory and stand out season is broken this moment in the name of Jesus all the doors shut against you to prevent you from being noticeable are opened now in the name of Jesus. Ephrata, be opened in the name of Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 6 verse 9. For a great door and effectual is opened unto you and there are many adversaries. Those who have vowed with their lives that you will not stand out the vengeance of the Lord will fall on them this moment in the name of Jesus. You are already standing. You will be outstanding in the name of Jesus. Every power messing up your vision. Jesus. The Lord has lifted you. You will never fall in the name of Jesus. You have been struggling with shining your light in this world of darkness. Your narration is changing for good now in the name of Jesus. Anointing of ease the Lord is releasing unto you in the name of Jesus. The Lord is repositioning your destiny. You will move. You will no more be hidden in the name of Jesus. What is it that is keeping you hidden? Is it sickness? Is it affliction? Is it poverty? Is it tribulation? Is it ignorance? That yoke is broken now in the name of Jesus. It is well with you. Go and occupy your position. Go and stand out. Go and shine your light because you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people to show forth the presence of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. Say amen seven times. Amen. 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 And one fire on top. Fire. Only God's fire consume them. Those who say you will not stand out. Only God's fire will fall on them. Go and shine your light. Do you 
Lord, we will now invite our daddy to make a remark, Ashwaji Dr. Michael Olawale Kohl, on behalf of the Dalsi son. Thank you. The Almighty, the owner of today. The one who had fixed today to be and who had made all things possible for today. Glory and honor be to the holy name. In the mighty name of Jesus. I am almost short of words of what to say. Because of the power of the anointing. That is all around here was here. The anointing with our mommy is very uncommon. And can we put our hands together for the Lord? I can see very clearly the power behind the throne. I can see the energy. I can see the source of the power behind our archbishop is our mother. And of course, all things come from the Lord. Because if not for him, where today shall we be? Our father, our archbishop, is a man of the Lord very, very substantially. He's a very rare man of the Lord. Please, can you put that together for him? I've been around now for over 70 years. Let me say that I have not seen many men of the Lord who are as impactful as our Archbishop. I have been told in the spirit that he is asking me to tell you to continue the good work you are doing for the Lord. Without our women, where shall men be today? Yesterday, as the president of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, I led a delegation to one of our past presidents who lost his first child at 53. A very prominent man in Nigeria, you all know him. But this incident is not known to most people. I've been in Germany, I just came from Germany last week. I just said they should not go and see him until I'm back. 
because I want to lead that delegation as the president. We were there yesterday to see him in the hotel in the Kedja. And he was telling us what a woman that entered the family had done for the family in very negative ways, not positive. Then one of the past presidents who was there was then telling me, he said, President, he said, well, I will bring you. Only it was when God made women that God had problems. <laughs> I then said, you are very, very wrong. God knows why he had made women. One of the problems also by men Judas wasn't a woman. He was a man like me. There are many Judases over the whole place who are men. So once in a while you can have a woman who will be off the curve. But generally, women are fantastic. I was telling the chairman of today that I'm, I'm, I'm from Ekwe by marriage. I'm married to Chief Adibo Ali's daughter, Adibo Ali Electrical Industries. And I will tell you, if not for that woman in my life, I would be nowhere today. Because she's always very supportive, very prayerful. And always there for me. We'll have been here together. She flew to the UK yesterday. That's why I'm here with my staff. I wonder what I will be without my wife. I wonder where my brother, the actor, will be without professor. And I wonder where your husbands will be who are priests without you. You are the life wire of the home. You are also the life wire of the spirit. Because you keep telling us, ah, you can't do this, so it will be right to do this. That's the role my, my wife plays in the house. And 99% of the time, I listen to her. Because it's only wise to listen to the woman. Most homes that are not good today is because men don't listen to, the, to, to their wives. I tell people there can be no happiness in any home unless the two are one and work together. If you take a woman as a slave or as a helpmate, that can never work. Your, womb, your wife is your partner. A partner, we are all equal in that business. So I want to please encourage you all, our mothers, Please always be there for your husbands. You have been there, and the Almighty God will keep you there for him, for Amen. them, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I also know my sister here, um, our mother, our mother in the coast, in the coastline, Miss Brisola. She was in her church before, and also it's lucky. She was a pillar, and she's a pillar behind Right Reverend Prishola today. I can say that with every confidence. <laughs> Therefore, any bishop or any father in the Lord who does well is because the wife is supporting him. Please keep on supporting your husbands for, him, for them to excel. And God will help you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. On the closing note, I want to thank our mother in the Lord for the very impressive way she has led this gathering today. Mama, I'm very proud of you. The Lord will keep on blessing you. The anointing will get greater and greater. 
And Father, who is the owner of it all, will give you all your heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus. Our Archbishop has a big vision for this diocese. And Almighty God, the maker of all good things, the owner of the heavens and the earth, will be there for him and see him through. Yeah. And no enemy will stop him from achieving his plan for the diocese. And I pray that any attack on him, because of the great works he's doing against Satan, and against devil, and against all things that are working against the ministry, Almighty God will kick off all those Satans. And we consume them by the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will set him free from all attacks. Because when he's praying for us, the enemy is fighting back. <laughs> oh Lord, you will strengthen him. The Lord will strengthen him. He will uphold him. And he will do all that he has planned for this that they have sent him to come and do for us in Jesus' mighty name. It's unstoppable. He is unstoppable. The enemy cannot stop him. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, our Father. Glory and honor be to the holy name. For in Jesus' mighty name we are spoken. And amen. Thank you, Daddy. I want to recognize the presence of Mama Yewa, Mrs. Oluwa Rumbi. How she got to know about this, I don't know. Maybe she has her informants around. <laughs> Thank you very much. God bless you, Ma. You are welcome. Before the host archdeaconry, um, the venerable, venerable of the host archdeaconry announces the donation. I want to invite our children from Igboye. They have a presentation. Are you around? Where are you? Where are they? Okay, they're on their way. Let's celebrate them as they come forward.
bless you. Thank you very much. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate them. They've done so well. Let's celebrate them. Let's celebrate our children. Ah, are you not done? Ah. Good afternoon once again. You want to take the time you. we have gained. And this song we're about to present is titled Dream High. It's to encourage everyone here not to give up no matter what you're facing. To do what you want, not to give up. Because you can do it, you can achieve it. You are a champion. You are a champion. You are a champion. You are a champion.
Archbishop Abiodu Adetsi Loye Comprehensive College. He go here and finally celebrate them. We are champions. No power of hell, no scheme of man can snatch us from the hands of our Lord till he returns and calls us home. In the power of Christ we stand. He will not leave us to the wish of our enemies. It will not end the way the devil planned. We are champions. We will cross the finish line in the name of Jesus. All obstacles on your way are destroyed in the name of Jesus. When your enemies come like a pool of water, the Lord will raise a standard against them. When they come in one way, they will flee in seven ways. Bible says they shall gather. But since their gathering is not unto the Lord, he said he will scatter them for our sake in the name of Jesus. Those that stand against you, they will fall for your sake in the name of Jesus. In Lagos Dalsis, we will finish, we will cross the finish line in the name of Jesus. We will not be thrown into mourning. We will not be thrown into gnashing of teeth. The Lord has turned our ashes to building. He has turned our money into dancing. It will not end the way the devil planned it. It will end in our favor. In the name of Jesus. Go and continue to shine your light in obscurity. In Jesus name we have prayed. Amen. It is well with you, my children. I'm so, so, so proud of them. We almost missed that. <laughs> Hallelujah. That is one of their studio recordings. We are discovering talent in our school. I think I sent it to the platform of the clergy wives during the week. We are already discovering them. They will wax record. We will launch it and you will all buy. In the name of Jesus. Their destiny will not be cut short. Their destinies are too expensive to be traded. Not on any platter of gold. The Lord will shield them. The Lord will defend them. The Lord will protect them. The Lord will hide them in the hollow of his path. In the name of Jesus. These ones are already for Christ. The devil has lost it. He came too late. These ones are great. They will make it in life. In Jesus' name. Admission is still open. <laughs> Enroll your children at Igbo Ye Epe. Praise the Lord. Right about now, we would invite the Archdeacon of the host Archdeaconry to make announcement of their handsome donation to women's organization. Thank you, ma'am. As the host Archdeacon for this 2022 Women Conference, we are giving 2.5 million naira. The woman of Ekpe Ajikiri is giving 1 million naira. And as host Ajikin and my lovely wife, if not because of her, there's no way I will have those beautiful children that are doing well. Nobody will prefer me without her. Nobody will appoint me as Archdeacon of Ekpe Archdeaconry without her. So, women, they are so good. I pray that God will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. So, we are giving 300,000 naira. Thank you very much. We can do better than that. <laughs> On behalf of the Dalsi son, okay, before I make the announcement of Dalsi son's donation, 
Let's have what you have. Thank you, ma. On behalf of all of us, the workers in the Kwea Dikinri, we want to support our Archdeacon, our father, with the sum of this token. This token. Thank you, sir. Dawson was to be here, I'm sure he would have made a handsome donation. And he has sent me to you as usual. So on behalf of my darling husband, it's Jesus that commands his destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can snatch us from our hands. Is coming back yeah. on his behalf. He said, I should make a donation of 500,000 naira. Praise the Lord. Our chairperson for today, Engineer Muiwa Olulaja, has blessed the Lord with one million naira. <laughs> one of our special guests from the Ashtikeris that gave the talk, I charge you, Dr. Michael Olawale Cole gave us two point <laughs> five million naira. Others have done, but because these two people are the one binding me, you know, <laughs> on the right, on the left, we said we should announce their donation so that we don't lose the time we have already gained. Yesterday, I announced to the women that we are collapsing this program, conference into three days, as against the usual four days, that we don't want to be insensitive. This conference should have been held in July. We postponed it for obvious reasons. And now that we have given a new date and God has made it possible for us to hold it, we don't want to encroach into their already organized life. So I must really appreciate you publicly for heeding the sudden call to come again to hold this conference at this time. And as a result of that, we are rounding off this conference tomorrow evening so that you can go back to your churches on Sunday and continue the regular activities in our different parishes. God bless you so, so very much. Before we move the vote of thanks, we have two assignments for our guests. Immediately after the closing prayer, we will march through the aisle to make a presentation of the car to the principal of AAACC. And the person that will do that on behalf of the Dalsisan is no other but our co-chair person, coincidentally or providentially came from a pair. Presentation on behalf of the diocesan and the women of Lagos diocese. After that, we will march to the 10 bed endurance hostel that the committee saddled with the responsibility responsibility of organizing this conference this year as furnished for us. So we are going to commission or unveil or dedicate whatever is the right terminology here. 
<laughs> will be done on behalf of the diocesan by Ashiwaju Dr. Michael Olawale Ko. So once we made the presentation, we just take a few steps down, we go up, and we dedicate or unveil the plaque, and we're ready for use. Right about now, I would invite Mrs. Nkechi Ezenwa, Mama 50. We have to celebrate her. As she comes forward, let's sing happy birthday song. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Amen. May the good Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. May the good Lord bless you. Mrs. Ezewa, I prophesy into your life again. You will not lose your relevance. Amen. You're already standing, you will be outstanding. Amen. You're already shining, your light will not go into obscurity. Amen. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will prosper you. The Lord will shield you from evil. He will defend you. He will fight your battles. He will protect you. He will hide you in the hollow of his palm. In the name of Jesus. You will not operate under closed heaven. When you call upon him, the Lord will answer. When you call one, Mrs. Ezenwa, ten will answer you. When you call ten, hundred will answer you. When you call hundred, thousands will answer you. When you call thousands, millions will answer you. Because you have heeded the call of the Lord to chair the committee that planned this conference so beautifully this year. The Lord will decorate your life with beautiful things. He will daily load you with benefits. You will never suffer any loss. You will not lose anyone or anybody or anything precious to you in the name of Jesus. Your obituary will not be announced this year in the name of Jesus. We defend and protect and shield your destiny. It is too expensive to be traded. You will not lose out in the name of Jesus. And you and your husband, the Lord will take you to greater heights. You are just start, starting, the Lord will bless you. The church you are pastoring at this time will grow in leaves and bound. Your anointing will never run dry. It is well with you. Welcome to the fifth floor. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Am I not blessed? Yes. Hallelujah. See what the Lord has done. Can you see what the Lord has done? What we've waited for has come to pass. See what the Lord has done. It's a testimony. Join me. Declare it. See what the Lord My eyes have seen, my ears have heard, my mouth will talk about the goodness of God. My eyes have seen, my ears have heard, my mouth will talk about the goodness of God. One more time. Glory be 
to God. Indeed, he's been faithful. He's been good. This is the day that the Lord has made. It is the day that the Lord has marked for us to have our conference. It was not meant to be in July. Otherwise, it would have happened in July. So this is the best day for our conference. To God be the glory. We waited patiently unto the Lord, and he made it to come and has passed. All glory be to him. It's been awesome. I've been receiving many good reports. And Mama, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much for trusting us, myself and this excellent team. I don't know how you selected us, but it must have been divine because this is the most excellent team that I've ever worked with. Thank you very much, Ma. Thank you very much, Ma. All glory be to God. I want to appreciate our Baba, the Daosisan, and Mishona and the Archbishop of the province of Lagos for giving us this day. If he did not approve it, certainly we wouldn't have had it. And because he said it, that's why we're here. We appreciate him and we honor him for all the good women of the diocese in carrying on the women's work, which with the leadership that we have in our mama, we're doing excellently. Mama, please send our regards and appreciation to him. We are praying for him. God is going to use him for a great testimony to his own glory. He shall come to pass. All that is happening right now, it's for greater, the greatest testimony. And we can't wait. We shall all be alive to hear that testimony and to give God the glory in the name of Jesus. We wouldn't have been able to do this without a lot of people. When Mama called us last year, we were seated right there. And you know, when you are given an assignment to do, you want to do it. But when you know the enormity of the assignment, you begin to cry. Because it's like a burden on you. And you know, I've worked in at least two committees in the past, you know, as a member. And I know what it meant. And when she said, I'm, you're going to chair the conference, I, 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 I didn't know what to say. I was just exhausted already, just sitting down. The weight was on me. Because you ha a lot goes into the planning of the conference. You know. So I thank God that he saw us through it all. <laughs> to him alone be the glory. To him alone be the glory. On behalf of Mama, I want to appreciate the following persons and group of people who have put in a lot in ensuring that we have a successful conference. I want to thank the Archdeacon of Ekwe Archdeaconry, the Venerable Lawrence, and his wife, Mrs. Victoria Ajayi. Thank you very much, sir. When Mama said it was Ekwe Archdeaconry, ha, people said, ha, there's work, oh. But God has done his work. Yes, there is work. But God did it. Is there anything different from what we've had in the past? Yes, there is. Positive difference. Plenty positive things, right? So all that is supposed to be in place is in place. Well done, sir. Well done, ma. And the good people of Ekwe Archdeaconry, all the clergy wives and all the people who have supported you, the Lord will bless all of you. The Lord will increase all of you. Through this work that you have done selflessly, the Lord will uplift you. Where you're finding it difficult, open doors, open heavens for you in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much, sir. I would also like to appreciate our fathers here, our fathers in the Lord, led by our own provost, the very reverend, Odofe Itimi, yes, Debola Odofe Itimi, and my mommy, Mother Angel, Olake Odofe Itimi. Thank you very much for coming. You are always here. The Lord will never leave you alone. And the retinue of um, our fathers in the Lord who are seated here, thank you very much for honoring God and for honoring our mother and the women of the diocese. May the Lord continue to bless and increase your ministry in the name of Jesus. I would also like to thank the women's office, led by our own Lady Walker, Mrs. Agoro, 
Thank you. There are so many, there's a lot to do behind the scene. Behind the, a lot. And they did it all. Without them, we certainly wouldn't have been able to pull this through or pull this off. Thank you very much, the women's office. God bless you. I want to thank all those who have come from far and near to support us. I would like to appreciate our mothers in the Lord who are here. From the, um, I want to appreciate Mrs. Shino Pirishola, our mama on the coast. Thank you very much for supporting our mommy. We appreciate you. Thank you to our mommy, barista Mrs. Harriet Ashaju, mama, mama Elisha Diocese. Welcome, ma, and thank you very much. We also like to appreciate Mama Yewa, who is here. Mama Yewa is Mrs. Olurumbi. Olurumbi. Welcome, Ma. Thank you very much for your presence. Then I would like to appreciate our chairman of the occasion, Engineer Muiwa Ol Olulaja. Engineer Muiwa Olulaja of Ekwe Achtikiri. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for your financial support. Thank you for coming physically and not sending a representative. We know what happens in that axis. I don't know if that's where you came from, but you did it. You made it. Thank you so much, sir. And all the special guests that have come, God bless you. Thank you, most especially for your presence. You made a lot of sacrifice to be here. You didn't have to be here. You could have said, oh, it takes four hours to come from Ekpe to this place. I can't come. But you came. Thank you very much. May the Lord see you back safely. May the Lord replenish your pockets in the name of Jesus. Thank you so very much. I would also like to appreciate all the retired clergy wives here present. I know there are a couple of them, about three or four of them. Thank you, Mass. May the Lord bless you. They are seated right here. Thank you for continuing to identify with us. You are retired, but you are not tired. The Lord bless you. May the Lord continue to be with you. Even in your retirement, you shall never beg for food. You shall never hunger in the name of Jesus. At all times, help will come from you, from where you least expect it. Continue to rejoice in the fellowship of the Lord, and you will continue to see his wonders in your lives. God bless you. Thank you, Mass. I would also like to appreciate, you know, it's in no particular order right now, the Faith Plaza workers, especially the Faith Plaza warden, Mrs. Adekola, I am telling you, without her cooperation, we would not have it this good. She really cooperated with us, did all that we asked you know, of her, made available all that we asked of her. Thank you very much, ma. May the Lord continue to find you a useful vessel in his vineyard in the name of Jesus. And all the cleaners, all the uh, minders in the crash, all the media people, all those who have you know, done behind the scene work, the band, the faith voices, the faith, women of faith voices. Thank you very much. We have not forgotten you. May the Lord continue to find you worthy of his use in the name of Jesus. You will never tire of serving the Lord in Jesus' name. I'd also like to appreciate some ad hoc supporters. Some people have made themselves, you know, on their own, supporters, pushing us and encouraging us, whether we like it or not, by force, by fire. Mama Kokwogiri. <laughs> Thank you very much, Ma. She, had, she put herself in. Eh? My baby, Shemi, you know you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. She did not sleep yesterday. I said, why didn't you sleep? She said, eh, the table has to be done. I said, why are you having a headache for me now? <laughs> so, thank you very much, sweet mama. Thank you. And your friend here. Thank you, Ma. God bless you all. And the, the others, you know yourselves, that have been really been doing you know, ad hoc work, nobody is seeing you, but the Lord is seeing you. May he bless you. All the people that have been given special assignments, the registrars, the ushers, and the rest of the crew, that without, you know, which, whom we wouldn't have been able to pull this off. Thank you very much. May God bless you. I would like to appreciate also these wonderful children that came all the way from Igoye. Yes, it's a long journey. They came to minister to us. They came to minister. They said we are champions. Yeah, we are winners. That we can do it. They are actually kidding. It's keying into our theme. They said we should champions stand out, right? Winners stand out. And they said we can do it. Let's key into it. May the Lord continue to uplift our children. They shall excel. What they have gone to obtain in the school. They went to obtain a certificate so they can go to higher institution. But in the process, 
lot of things happen. This is one of them. They've been discovered. May they continue to be, may, may they continue to, be, to shine. May they continue to be seen. May the talent that God has built in them continue to be exposed for good use in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mommy. You are doing a great job at Iboye. May the Lord continue to expand the coast of that school in the name of Jesus. I'd like to appreciate the wonderful committee that I worked with. Of all of them, there are seven of us that work together. I only knew, will I say well, one person, Mrs. Koka, is my friend. I know Mrs. Oko, but I had never said a word to her in my life. As a clergy wife, I, I must confess. And then the other three, Mama, Mama Badejo from St. Michael's Epe, my sister Rita Olaruwaju from, uh, from the Church of the Nativity, Parkview, and my sister, Mrs. Onome. I've never been able to call the surname. I will try. <laughs> That's why I stuck to sister all through. We are calling everybody sister because I could not call the surname. So I said it's safer. So that's, that's the reason why. You know, wonderful people. And then um, Sister Marvelyn, interestingly, I served at Uncle Pen. I never knew her. She said, I was in the choir. I used to sit and look at you. I, how come I never knew you? I said, are you sure you were there for that? She said she was there. You know, anyway, I met all of them, six of them. I knew one person quite well, and then five new people in my life. I really appreciate them. They are well, well selected, strong women. You know, when, they, when somebody said to me, when, they, when we were called that, they said, you have a very strong team. I was like, what exactly does that mean? I couldn't, it means, it was a heavy statement. And I was wondering, okay, what could this person mean? Is it in terms of, is it pocket? Is it talent? What exactly? But I discovered this all along the way. And you know, like every other team where you don't know people, in the beginning, there are some team, there are some things that happen. You form, you have a bit of conflict here and there. You learn yourselves, you start all over again. We experienced all of that. We had our times that were not so good. But I'm telling you today, we are best friends. Yes, we're sisters. I can say that anytime, anywhere. We now understand each other. You know, it's difficult. You have to understand temperament. You have to understand, you know, especially women who are strong in many areas. So, you know, I found great sisters, and I really appreciate all of you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for challenging me when I needed to be challenged. Thank you for airing your views. Thank you for guiding me. Thank you for directing me. Thank you for the wise counsel. Sister Eunice, she's not here. Thank you. You know why I'm thanking you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for all the prayer time that we had. You know, we saw the face of God and he did his thing. To him be the glory. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. God bless you. I also want to appreciate our chaplain, the canon, Belle, Raphael Belle. He's a great man. Yes, he is. When Mama approved him, I was happy. I was happy. The Lord is using him. The Bible study has been wonderful. Tomorrow we will feel more of him. Amen. I know that he's loaded and he's going to offload it and we will all be blessed tomorrow. Amen. Thank you, sir, Thank for you. all the prayers. Every yes. day he sends prayers mm. encouraging me. I don't know what to say. I, I just say thank you. May the Lord continue to increase your anointing. Amen. May the Lord continue to find you relevant. I mean, he continues to use you in greater ways than you ever imagined in the name Amen. of Jesus. Thank you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate the everybody. women's chaplain. Everybody. And <laughs> everybody else. Everybody else. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. I must not forget to appreciate my husband. Uh, He's right uh, here. So we'll allow you to say best. that. My husband is here. My husband is a wonderful man. He's a gentleman to the core. I am very blessed and lucky to have him. Thank you very much. You know, when we were giving, we were talking about what project should we do, we considered several, and then Mama came up with the hostel project. We started, the months were rolling, you know, 
and we're looking for funds, you know, and what you supported should we do. you handsomely. Then, yes. That's the summary. <laughs> then he came through. He said, don't worry. And then things took shape. Yes. He helped us out in his own way. May the Lord bless you, my darling Amen. husband. May the, continue, may the Lord continue to lift you up. Your health will not fail you in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. And so, thank you, everybody. If I've missed you out, please, apologies uh, for that. I really appreciate thank everyone. Me, but I will thank myself. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama. Somebody said both of times is getting longer than the address. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, ma. But before I leave, ma, um, with your permission, I'd like to present our donation as okay. a committee. I'm sure you want to hear that Oh, you long, long. Huh? <laughs> Okay. I'm all here. So, by the grace of God, the committee is donating the sum of 4.5 million naira. <laughs> you can talk from now to 6 p.m. <laughs> Even if they announce <laughs> you can speak to that money to 6 p.m. I'll just sit down. No more. Praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so very much. The Lord will bless you. You know, let me say something. When a white man is happy, I want to appreciate what you've done. He would say, thank you. That's all. If that thing is, you know, as a level of... Uh, <laughs> How do I put it now? Uh -huh. You know, honey, you understand now? You will say, thank you very much. But if that thing is so exhilarating and is so excited about it, you will say, thank you so very much. So your own is beyond thank you. Thank you very much. You are going with thank you so very much. <laughs> Praise the Lord. The Lord will thank you on our behalf. And that's the most important thing. You will not lose your reward in the name of Jesus. Thank you very much. Our lunchtime is at 3 o'clock, delegates. And this is 1 p.m. So we have gained two hours as we have agreed yesterday. After the dedication or presentation of this beautiful car, we will dedicate or unveil the hostel put together by this committee. From there, we will march into the chapel so that we can cover some grants. You know, we've collapsed everything into three days now. So we've brought forward some programs from tomorrow evening, even Sunday, to this afternoon. So after that, we move straight to the chapel. So the two hours before lunch would have to cover some ground. After that, we go for lunch, we rest and um, other things. Efe Archdekinri, your presentation will come up this evening. Mama Ekpe, so the presentation of the host Archdekinri will come up this evening as against tomorrow evening. Is that okay? Now, I would invite Venerable Ifan Yezenwa for the closing prayer on behalf of the Daosisan, after which we will march to the, uh, through the eye to make the presentation as announced. Venerable Yezenwa, sir. Praise ye the Lord. Please let us rise for prayers. All glory must be to the Lord, for He is worthy of our praise.
so heavenly father we are indeed very grateful we appreciate you from the depths of our heart you are awesome you are wonderful you are marvelous there is nothing we can ever do without you we say be thou exalted in the mighty name. now stream now analyzing now assessing now discussing now sharing your thoughts on everything and every issue that affects you acnn is now streaming discusses the issues trending and the matters that matter to us all join us every monday to friday at 10 a.m on acnn as we go in depth into every issue that impacts our lives our communities and our country